Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. The Young and the Restless, Adam pleads with Sally for another chance, Sharon pushes Phyllis too far, and Connor blames himself for his parents' breakups. Connor is with Chelsea at Society having breakfast after his latest therapy session. As they wait for Adam, they discuss how proud she is of how he's been doing. He notices that she keeps checking her phone and notes that Billy hasn't been in touch. Is everything okay between them? His mom tells him not to worry about Billy. He's top dog at the office now and busy. When she suggests they order his dad a joke breakfast, he doesn't seem amused. Connor keeps pushing about how Billy hasn't been coming around or sending him funny videos like he used to. Taking a deep breath, Chelsea tells her son he deserves an explanation. She and Billy are take a break. Connor asks why. Chelsea assures him that whatever is happening has to do with a lot of reasons that aren't related to him. She and Billy are both busy and don't have time for a relationship. Forcing a smile, she says people can be happy without a relationship. Her son can see she's sad and remains convinced that they would still be together if not for his OCD. Nick and Adam finish a meeting at the athletic club. Adam gets defensive when his brother asks if he's okay. He did well in the meeting, but something seems to be bothering him. When Sally enters and Adam stares at her, Nick guesses he knows what it is. As she heads for the door, Adam chases after her, telling her they need to talk. Phyllis joins Nick, and they watch Adam and Sally together. Adam begs Sally for a minute, but she thinks they have talked enough already. Adam tells her he thinks he should have been consulted about ending the relationship. Sally can see how much history he has with Chelsea and that it's not going away. This isn't something she wants anything to do with. She doesn't have the fight in her anymore. Adam asks her to let him do the fighting and offers to do anything. He insists breaking up was a mistake. Phyllis and Nick watch Sally and Adam, and she tries reading Adam's body language. Nick doesn't want to get involved with this, but she says his brother is giving off the poor me thing. She muses that that's never worked on her, and then accuses Nick of loving to rescue women. The only problem is they go back to where they started. She can't see the allure in that. Adam and Sally go to Chancellor Park, and she immediately starts regretting it. She's sure he's going to try to talk her around. They rehash what he did with Chelsea, and he admits it was weak and impulsive, he clarifies that he has love for her as the mother of his son, but that doesn't come close to what he feels for her. What they have together has the potential to last a lifetime, and what he has with Chelsea can't touch that. It already has, she reminds him. He points out that they have split up before. The love doesn't go away, and they get back together. She points out that his love for Chelsea doesn't seem to go away either. Sally knows that he will always be someone who can't control his impulses. She can't live with someone like that. She deserves better and won't compete with whatever he has with the other woman. The Newman insists that it ends with them being parents, but Sally's sure there is more. She had to realize that another woman knows him as well as she does. What he has with Chelsea will not go away. Part of her is glad that Adam has her since that means someone who sees him the way she did is there for him to lean on. Adam gets a text from Chelsea, reminding him of their breakfast plans. Sally tells him she needs to go and trudges off. Maria meets with Sharon at Crimson Lights to divvy up some work for the company. Maria hopes that her mom will take advantage of this to get some rest and suggests that she rebook her spa vacation. Sharon insists that Faith needs her there. Mariah can't help but notice how forgetful she's being. Lucy and Daniel step onto the patio at Crimson Lights. She's reluctant to go inside. The fear of seeing Sharon is real, she says. He knows that yesterday was not fun and peers in to make sure the coast is clear. No one is there so he sends her in to grab a table while he dashes out to the car to grab something. As soon as Lucy steps inside, Sharon returns. Lucy stops dead in her tracks. 
Before Sharon can walk away, Lucy begins apologizing, explaining she's working on her letter and community service. She asks if she can meet with Faith to give her the letter of apology. Daniel returns and immediately tries to usher his daughter away, but Lucy begs for the chance to see Faith again. Sharon tells Lucy that her concern with Faith is suffocating and disturbing. Her daughter wants no contact with her, it's over, and that won't change.